negative uh, wattage, I mean. Hopefully I can get the cooling working. This is kind of the first test I made with my electric motor. I haven't really done any more tests when I come to think of it, but it was a sp spontaneous trip with my sister Atris and uh, my sister's son. I just had time or I filmed some clips of testing the, the motor, but not everything I should have done. So that's the preface. We left the marina with the electric motor and we went out all the way to the lake which is maybe one mile one sea mile no maybe shorter maybe half a maybe half a nautical mile by the electric motor and it was working fine it got quite warm it was 70 degrees celsius which is not maybe that warm uh, but it should start to throttle itself at some point around there anyway so i need to figure out the cooling situation and yeah just let's just watch it Finally out sailing, I tried the electric motor for going out from the marina and it worked fine, but it got really, really hot because I don't have cooling yet. So I probably need cooling. Hopefully I can get the cooling working. The, the motor is spinning it loudly inside, so I try to brake on the controller and then I get negative voltage. Negative uh, wattage, I mean, not voltage. It's braking with 100 watts almost. Sometimes. Do you remember sailing at this? We're sailing. some cleaning up to do and some fastening of the safety lines, pins, stops, stop scots. Oops. Experiment experimentation means losing your course. Charging 35 watts.
we had a nice time on the lake and it got quite calm the second day we were out. And um, I heard when uh, sailing Uma sailed with their electric motor, sailed with their electric motor, it sounds weird. When they went to Iceland, they told us that they could drive their electric motor in three knots from only 300 watts of power which is so so little i will try to put solar panels on my boat which is 400 watts for the motor i i didn't believe <laughs> i didn't believe those numbers it was just too good to be true but i guess i guess it was true because <laughs> i tried it when it was kind of zero wind and I just used the motor and I also got got up to three knots from just 300 watts and um, I think water water behaves differently than air obviously but airs the air resistance of a car or a train is um, squared in by the um, speed so it's a curve that just goes up so the faster you go it doubles uh, all the time so it's a curve that goes like that but i guess in water the if you go really slow it's not that bad but then it goes right up there and just doubles the uh, triples quadruples very very fast so i guess you lose <laughs> efficiency very fast with a displacement hull which this boat is uh, it doesn't go on top of the water like newer boats can but it goes through the water and then it has to push all the water away and i guess this curve is very steep so the results are very nice and interesting from my first tests there are issues still the most uh, i could squeeze out of the motor was 1200 watts which is one tenth or one ninth maybe of what everything is supposed to be rated as uh, going so that's that's some kind of programming i think and um there was something else yeah when we got into the marina it was very funny because suddenly the motor seemed to have changed directions. So when I was going to push in towards, the, I, I was very slow. So I was going to go forward into the marina. Suddenly it started backing. So that's, and then I had to put it in reverse to go forward. I think I might have just imagined it. I don't know, but that's not very good if it happens. <laughs> It reverses directions in a critical moment. So I'm I'm tired still from sleeping. I've been resting a lot this day and uh, I'm eager to continue testing the motor and testing the boat out. But I also have my amusement park project coming up and a lot of cleaning up here to do. So I might be doing those things first. So you will have to you will have to wait to see for further testing. But that's uh, the report from the initial test. OK, have a nice day. I just wanted to make a cliffhanger. I got two more packages for the boat. One is a smart daily BMS. No, not BMS, but it's a, an active balance module. It's supposed to balance the battery cells faster than the BMS can. Uh, the BMS can just balance them in half an amp or something. And this is supposed to be balancing them in five amps i am not sure it's required but it's probably good to have if you use the motor a lot oh my god <laughs> this is the other package i wasn't i wasn't expecting this big thing but oh my god oh my god 
<laughs> so this is a radiator and uh, it's got three fans. They look like that. I guess I have to mount it myself. I hope everything is in here. It's a cooler master for a computer <laughs> originally. Um, and this is the pump and this is supposed to be sitting on top of a CPU or something. My intention is of course to use this and uh, chop off these water lines and plug them into my motor controller instead. And this is supposed to be my cooling system to cool the motor controller in my boat. I guess you now have to follow this channel to see how badly this turns out. A lot of stuff here. This is also a whole night's project. Hi, my name is Musa and I'm from outer space. I am an intergalactic filmmaker stranded on the last Earth. I document my sailing expeditions, off-grid amusement park, random adventures and projects, and the search for my happy-go-lucky land. And sometimes I invite you to join. <laughs> 